Ichi. And with that, it is now a boozy peach drink with extra go-go juice. What? And this is why I have my glasses attached to rope. This is it right here. I'm gonna go actually look in the mirror. I can't tell what I'm doing. hairstyle in which I don't want to stab myself. Hey! It me! We're making bun buns. Once again, if you do not have a stand mixer, your hands will work just as well. Tell them, tell them, tell them you make biscuits without a mixer. You make biscuits all the time without a mixer. Would you like to say hi? Oh, you would. Okay, come here. As per usual, here is the banana child. No, you may not. No, you may not. You get to stay right here. You don't get to claw the shit out of my shoulders. This is how you will be held. There you go. Close up. Don't go bother your head. All right. We's going to need all purpose flour. The recipe card is on the screen. You can see it. Follow along. Or don't. I'm not your mom. Right. I still have flour up here. Oh my god. Why are you so needy? I guess we should also preheat the oven. Uh, preheat it to a three, a sweet 375. Ugh, burp. 
Mmm, peach flavored burps. Mmm, delicious. I don't know why I attached the bowl and everything. I, there's nothing in the damn bowl yet. Okay, then. Oh, so first off, I went ahead and made this earlier today. It has to go in a slow cooker, and I am not running a stream for four fucking hours. <laughs> Just to watch a pressure cooker make pork. <laughs> pressure cooker stream. <laughs> Just every once in a while it goes. Yeah, that's it. That's the stream. That's the stream is watching the bar go up on my pressure cooker, and it going oh, psh, and scaring the shit out of you every once in a while. It's like, oh, is this is this it? Is this where it explodes? Who knows? Keep watching, find out. I mean, when we put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> intense. <laughs> To get at least a few views off of that's intense. <laughs> uh, so what I did was I took like a couple pounds of uh, what was it? It was like a pork, not a loin. It was a log. It was a big fucking like that big. It was a it was a big thing of pork, and I cut it up into thirds and I put one third of it in the pot with this shit right here. Mm, delicious. I love it. It's so tasty. And then after it cooked in the pressure cooker on slow cook mode, so it was then a slow cooker, um, pulled it out, uh, tore it apart, took some juice that was left over, poured it in there, and then I took tonkatsu sauce and uh, gochujang, uh, gochujang sauce mixed it all together until it was the, the way that I like it. Ratios, it depends on who you are. If you like something a little bit sweeter, more tonkatsu sauce, uh, or more of the marinade. If you like a little bit spicier, go to gochujang. But this is one of those things that I make that my friends absolutely adore, and in, in the before times were to request frequently that I make. Because it's literally a whole, it's like a whole meal in one easy to go bun bun. And it's delicious. And I don't skimp on the meats. So my friends are well fed and well loved and well cared for anytime I make this shit. So we need 34 ounces of all purpose flour. Let's go. Oh, bam. -ba now, luckily for me, this says 23.5. But that wasn't the only all-purpose flour I had. I had more. Oh, Shane, uh, since you were going to be helping me eat these, I don't particularly care, but do you have a preference for what powdered milk I use? Mm. We've got goat milk, we've got regular milk, and we've got buttermilk. I personally like the goat milk because it's tangy. Yeah. Yeah, I think I agree. Okay. And there we go, 34 ounces. I'm going to now put the rest of it in my container that has a seal. Ideally, I'd have many of these for my various types of flowers, but since I use all-purpose the most frequently, that's where it goes. Alright, back counter for the time being. Um, I'm going to melt down the butter that I need. I need 3.6 ounces. Shit, the wee woo wagons are at it again. So not a particularly eventful week has occurred between the last time we were here. Um, someone who is, uh, I'd say close to me. It, their birthday is coming up. 
and I haven't seen them in quite some time because, you know, gestures at the world. So I wanted to meet up with them sometime close to their birthday. What is that? Four ounces? I wanted two point five. You know what? Fuck it, extra butter. We're in that kind of mood, ladies and gentlemen. We're going slightly off book. Do not fucking care. Um, as I was saying, their birthday is coming up. Wanted to visit them for their birthday to give them the gift of baked goods because that's all I know how to do. Um, and this person also is really fond of um, like lemon-based confectionery. So your lemon meringue pie uh, likes... Uh, thumbprint cookies with lemons, a lemony goodness thing in the cookie. Um, so I made a test cake for what I wanted to give them uh, yesterday. Made the test cake yesterday. And what I made yesterday was um, my, my stuffed angel food cake that I like to make, but instead of like strawberry or whatever, I actually got um, like lemon pie filling, but I added more lemon juice to it because it was not sour enough for me. So therefore probably not sour enough uh, for them. So I, I made that and it turned out really good. I made like a strawberry lemonade angel food cake and it was super good. So I've got the leftovers in the fridge right now. Had some for breakfast this morning with a cup of coffee. Absolute decadence. Blah, blah, blah. I need 3.6. I need 3.6. 3.6. Three point six, excellent. Yeah, I know. Don't fucking sass me. I'm getting to you. There we go. Melty butter. Melty butter. I need to get a small spatula. Mm, tiny pink. So these rolls will be a little more buttery than normal. That's fine. This is okay. I want my drink. All right. Next, we're going. So I'm going to continue to add all of our dry ingredients, and then after I'm done adding the dry ingredients, then I'll add the water because I like adding the water less last when I'm making bread because. Sometimes the flour is less hydrated or more hydrated depending on the humidity of where I live. Did I already take out? I did not take it out. Help. I don't know where it went. I can't tell if that's a genuine request. It is a genuine request for help. I don't know where my yeast went. And I can't make bread without the yeast. Okay. It'd what be very of, difficult. What kind of container are we looking for? A uh, glass square container. Mm, I remember that part. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Sometimes I forget that I leave stuff in my oven, so I have to do occasional uh, did I fuck up checks. All right, so we need 1.8 ounces Milk powder, we're using goat milk because it's tangy and delicious, and I think it would lend its flavors nicely to the pork filling. Ah. Oh, thank fuck. It was behind the spinch. Spinch, how dare. I mean, this whole third is a little bit of a challenge. And there now. goes the oven. The oven is now preheated and ready for me to fuck it up. It's a good thing the pork buns don't require refrigeration because... Haha, <laughs> there'd be no goddamn room! Yeah. The buns will need refrigeration because there's meat inside, yeah. or there will be meat inside. Yeah. All right. We'll figure it out. Will we? I will. Okay. Ugh. So now we need 1.2 ounces of yeast. So I'm just gonna go ahead and weigh that. Sugar, 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 
the reason why my yeast is in a container like this is because I bought a huge block of instant yeast and uh, it was not a resealable <laughs> situation. So I just went ahead and put it in a little peppered weird container. And then the last thing after the yeast will be the salt. Remember, ladies and gentlemen at home, do not use iodized salt. Iodine will kill the yeast. Where's my salt? I found my salt. It was by chat the whole time. Chat was hiding the salt. All right, 1.3 ounce of salt. And I'm using uh, coarse kosher salt. This doesn't have any iodine in it. Um, 1.3. Yeah, 1.3. Uh, 1.4. It's not going to kill us. Whatever. All right. So now what we're going to do... Extra salty. Like me. Because I let the salt flow through me. God fucking damn it. Okay, there we go. Uh, is this... It is not on camera yet, but will it be? I just need to continue to put it over here. All right. I'm going to go put some warm-ish water. If it's too hot for your wrist, it's too hot for the yeast, it's too hot for baby. Rules for life. Totality. Not weighing out the water. Uh, said I needed 19. I got more than 19 ounces of water in there. All right. So we're gonna turn this on stir to just get everything nice and incorporated. Continues to stir, I'm going to start slowly adding our water.
here like this, I'm going to turn it off occasionally and peel the dough. You want something that's... how to describe this. Of course you want a wet dough, you don't want it to be... you don't want it to feel too dry or too coarse. Uh, because that would also make for a dry product. You want a nice, delicious, moist product. The one time the word moist uh, means good things. And this is starting to feel a little sticky, but as the water continues to absorb into the flour, this is probably going to dry out a little bit. Um, and it also hasn't, yeah, the, the gluten in the flour, the proteins in the flour haven't developed yet. And hopefully I can show you guys what that looks like once it's actually done. I have my phone, which has a flashlight. If you can see light shining through the dough once you've like made a little ball and spread it out, that's called a window pane stage is when you can see light shining through it. And that is when you know your dough is done and ready to just leave alone for a little bit. <laughs> water using this little uh, spray bottle. Um, I find that I have better control. Would you stop interrupting me? No? Okay, I'm just going to continue to talk over you don't mind me, I guess. Um, I have better control over how much water I put in here. Sometimes my hands get a little shaky and I dump too much water, but with this I can actually precisely control the amount of water that I put in here until it's just the right texture that I want. Don't touch me! Do not touch me. No touchy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Which is different from a Felix test. Hmm. Yeah, I see this is still ripping too much. That means the gluten hasn't developed enough yet. Um, and it's still, at, it's not quite at the stickiness levels that I want it to be at. So I'm going to continue to let my mixer run while uh, misting it like one would a plant. Except the plant is now bread. Bread plant. <laughs> stickiness level I want. It's sticking to my hands a little bit, but not too much. Like I can still like pull back my fingers from it, um, but it's still sticking to me at least like a little bit, which is what I want. This, this will be a very nice plump bread when it's done. <laughs> Um, to do the window pane test, what you want to do is grab like a little ball of dough, flatten it out, and then stretch it out like this. And if it doesn't rip, that's a great sign. That's a good first start. Uh, Shane, I need a lovely assistant for you. Oh, Alright, I'll do my best. I just need to turn the flashlight on my phone and shine it for me because I don't have three arms. I don't see why I have to be level for that. It helps. Alright. So, shine it, like, 
in your eyes? No, not <laughs> put put the light. Oh, I see, I see, I yeah. see. I mean, it has a bright fucking flashlight. Um. So yeah, if you can see light shining, like my doe is covering the flashlight, but you can still see the light shining through it. That is window pane stage. That's a bright. Don't use your flashlight. Use like the lights in your ceiling. They're more diffused. Um. But you get the general idea of what I'm trying to accomplish here. I hope. Either way, the dough is done. The gluten has developed. It's got nice long strands to it. It's nice and smooth feeling. It's got a tacky. That's the word I was looking for. It's got like a tack to it. Hello, friendos. Friends, hello. We have just finished making the bun dough for our stuffed pork buns. The pork uh, was made earlier today using a pressure cooker on a slow cook setting using a Korean uh, apple and pear based marinade. And then after it was done slow cooking, I add some of the juices from the pot to the pork along with tonkatsu sauce for sweetness. It's kind of like, um, it's a ketchup based sauce with like Worcestershire and stuff in it. And then I also added a gochujang sauce for spice because I like hot buns. So you're going to Take out your dough a little bit, get it nice and smooth if you can on the top, and then you're going to grease your bowl. And greasing the bowl allows the dough to rise and puff up and ferment a little bit more easily. Gives the yeast some wiggle room. If it clings to the bowl, it won't rise uh, as much as you would like it to. So greasing the bowl is pretty important. So pork and then we're going to grease the dough itself once again extra lubrication for the yeast to grow the yeast must breathe and climb and thrive and then after that my probably the dumbest but best trick i know for trapping warm air inside of your bread is to get a garbage bag just get a garbage bag it's fine puff it up Stick it in. And if you create like a, uh, a barrier of air, like with tent, like if you've ever gone camping, um, like serious hardcore camping, there's an outer shell to your tent, some space between the outer shell and the inner shell, and then the inside of the tent. And this helps to trap all the warmth inside the tent, especially if you're camping in cold weather. Same thing kind of applies here. You want to create a barrier between the plastic and everything else. So I have puffed it up much like a balloon and trapped the air in there, tucked the tail into the handle, and then I'm just going to stick this someplace warm. Hi, Ambrose. Squeaky McGee's. I had to burp, sorry. Um, since my oven, especially towards the back, is a little warm right now, not hot. You don't want to stick your dough in a hot place, you want to stick it in a warm place. Yeast is a very finicky creature. It likes to be warm but not hot. It needs enough food, not too much food. And it needs water. Specifically, somewhat warm water. I have given it these things. I am a benign mother for now until I cook it. Um, excuse me for a second. I'm just placing up my kitchen a little bit. So yes, I've given my yeast the best conditions in which to thrive. So now we wait for, the original recipe said 30 minutes, but I'm using instant yeast, which I think takes less time to ferment. Am I remembering that right? That sounds right. Yeah, so I'll just keep an eye on it. I'll check on it in 15 minutes, so half the time. And if it looks like it could use a little bit more rust, I'll let that happen. I've also decided just now uh, that I'm going to steam half of the buns. I'm going to steam half of them and then bake the other half so you can see the difference um, in, in, in the dough, essentially. I really like the steam buns because it doesn't create like a hard, crusty outer shell, which some people like. 
And typically I enjoy too, but there's something about a soft bun, a soft warm bun through and through that just hits different. So I'm gonna once again summon the lovely assistant yes, uh... <laughs> to pull down the necessary equipment for steaming. They're both together. I need both that pot and the bamboo steamer. Great. I have set the timer for the bun buns. Oh, these chairs make me so nervous, Shane. It's fine. It wiggled when you got up. It wiggles a little. And that's what makes me nervous. So I've got a bamboo steamer here. It's got two levels on it, which I think is dope. This one has all six screws in it. I don't see what's wrong. The wood is weak and garbage. So yeah, I've got my bamboo steamer here. I don't know... Hmm. I think what I'll do is I will somehow try to affix wax paper to the lid um, so that the buns don't stick to the bamboo up here. And then I've got a trick for making sure they don't stick to the rack either that I will also be sharing because I like sharing my knowledge. Poor Amaris was laying on the little heating, electric heating pad thing. Uh, but it wasn't on, so I turned it on for him. <laughs> I understand why the lid was put like that, but I couldn't get it out. <laughs> get my cupcake wrappers. That's right, you heard right. Cupcake wrappers. But me, me, but me, me, we're not making cupcakes. You're right, we're not. These are my favorite wax paper cupcakes. They don't stick to goddamn anything. I get these at Target. They're amazing and I love them. They're not the prettiest cupcake wrapper, but they, they preserve the most product. They, they make sure everything comes out cleanly. I use these to make my uh, oven-baked eggs. They come out like creamy custards. They're so freaking delicious. When I do my breakfast special, that is part of what I will be doing. Excellent. So what's going to happen is I'm going to flatten out some of these like that. So flatten that out completely, and then I can put the bun on top of the wrapper. Good. Buy them. They're the best for baking. I swear by these friggin' wrappers. They're so good. Like I said, when I make my oven baked eggs, uh, like pretty much, like, especially if you lightly grease it, just a little bit, I hit the bottom with just a little bit of grease and basically no egg clings to the wrapper. It just pops right out. So good. 100% recommend. So yeah, I don't know how much bread I made to be honest, and I don't know how much filling that is, so I'll probably have to play this by ear. So yeah, you'll just flatten these out, put the bun in it. The bun now has its own wrapper that'll just peel right off. Yes, Mimi, crinkle the paper next to the mic. Brilliant fucking idea. Just, just getting that ASMR going. <laughs> What's that? You want to be on cam again? Well, come here. Come here. Oh, you reached up. That means you want affection and attention. To new viewers of the channel, this is the banana lad. This is the boy who likes bananas. A cat that likes bananas. <laughs> Have fun with your child. I am having fun with my child. My fuzzy child. Ambrose, we're waiting for the bread <laughs> to finish up. The banana boy. The we banana boy. We can also bring Freya over. Oh. Who during during our game of Spirit Island was whining. Oh my god, yes. Rude Rude Princess. She also likes a banana and spinach. It's true. She likes all these things. She likes bananas and spinach. She likes everything. <laughs> You're basically a couple genomes away from being a goddamn raccoon. Yes. You 
<laughs> but you're you're a good girl though. You don't actually eat literal garbage. <laughs> There's too many alerts. What's happening? Yay, some manga I'm reading has updated, which means more chapters for me to indulge. Alright, we've got ten more minutes on the break before I check it. Uh, are you going to need me to fill that pod or anything like that? Since it, we're just steaming it, it honestly doesn't need that much water. It's I can handle okay. it. Like You don't want to fill it up too much anyways. I'm going to take care of this. Thank you! Much obliged, sir. I want one one day. They're so expensive, but I want one. What you're going to want to do is find a pot that's a little bit smaller than your steaming basket. Steaming baskets are pretty inexpensive. I picked this one up at Li Ming's for like, I want to say it's, it's like 20 bucks or less. It's not that much. They're big fancy steel steamers though that one day I will put yes. They're like 60 bucks or 80 maybe. They're gorgeous and I want one. But for now, I'm going to do with this dank ass bamboo steamer. It does the job, I just want it to be better. The bamboo splits easily, it gives splinters and just crap like that. Uh, you only want a couple of inches in the water. A couple of inches in the bottom with water. I can't word. Can't word. Speaking of not wording, Shane had a brilliant moment earlier. <laughs> Why you gotta call me out like this? Because I love you and I want to share things that happen. <laughs> So, Shanna's had a rough day to start with. I won't go into details about that, but it's been rough. And so, he's been slowly consuming caffeine throughout the day. He was feeling a little bizarre earlier, so he went and, and took a caffeine tablet. Um, I take a tablet in the mornings because I'm very slow to start. It takes me forever to get up, so having something by the bed that I can easily just swallow is efficient for me in particular. So, we went to go take a caffeine tablet. <laughs> and... As I was getting ready for stream, uh, getting stuff together, he was like, I think my brain flarg has finally cleared up. And I was like, honey, a brain flarg? Are you sure about that? Are you sure it's cleared up? And he was like, you know what? I don't want to hear it. You, you misspeak all the time. I was like, yeah, I know, but that was a brilliant time to misspeak. Absolutely magnificent. Freya, Miss Pretty Triangle Ears Puppy Dog. Hello. Oh, I want pet that dog. I want pet that dog. Moving some things around so I have access to things again. Oh, okay. Jeez. Heck. All right. But yeah, you can't see it from the top-down view, but this sits uh, pretty pretty snugly on top. So everything will get steamed all nicely. I will start prepping the wax paper for the bottom of the racks. All right, I'll be back shortly. Okay. I think it's raining now. <laughs> oh boy, have fun. Thanks. I'll work it out. So if you don't have like pre-made circles for any large circular object you want to put parchment paper on, a, a good way to do it is pull out the stuff that you need. So like, make sure that the amount you're pulling out will cover the paper. And then tear it off. I'm gonna double check that. Yep, that's right. All right. Um, gosh, I haven't done this in a minute. So first you're going to fold it over into a triangle like this. This is something I learned in my fancy baking school, 
and then you fold it over again and you want to fold it over here on the folded side otherwise this will not work and then just keep folding it down into smaller and smaller triangles until you get to about yeah. And then what you want to do is try to find the middle of whatever you're using this for. So for me, it's about here. And then this is the outer edge, right about here. And I'll probably cut it, I'll try to cut it a little bit more small so it fits. And then you cut this right about where you need it, a slight curve. So it's circular. Now this isn't going to be perfect, but it's going to be dang close. And then you'll unfold it. And bam, you've got a circle. And would you look at that? <laughs> One shot. So then after that, I'm going to take a small knife. And I'm going to just perforate a couple of holes because this will, if you put parchment paper down like this without perforating it, it kind of defeats the purpose of using the steamer. You want the steam to come up and cook whatever it is you put in the steamer. So you just need to make like a couple of holes here and there to make sure that hot steam will still come out and cook your shit. But the paper is great because it'll make cleanup easier whatever you're cooking won't stick to the bamboo itself. This is another reason why I want the stainless steel steamers because then I won't have to do this bullshit anymore. Maybe if I get another stimmy check, this is what I will use it for. I will use it for upgrading my steamer nonsense because I do like steaming food it, it, it definitely creates for a more soft and juicy tender product like when I make a bunch of like oh my god I don't ever want to do this on stream because it just takes too goddamn long and I don't know how to keep banter up for that long um not yet anyways maybe one day I'll level up um but when I make when I make like uh, homemade dumplings um not from total scratch I'll buy the wrappers but just crimping each of the wrappers with filling and everything like that, pan frying it takes way too damn long. So what I do instead is I'll just put them all in the steamer basket and cook them up that way. And maybe if I have a nicer steamer set up, don't you woof. I don't want to hear it, Missy. I don't care if dad's gone. I'm still here. No, you're not boofing. You're not boofing. No, I don't want to hear it. She's grumbling right now. If you can't hear her completely, she's just... She hears someone out in the breezeway. And how dare they exist? How dare they exist, Missy? How dare they exist when you exist at the same time? The absolute audacity. And I'm just doing the same thing as I did for the uh, the bottom tier. I'm just continuing along. We've got another minute and a half before I'm going to do a poke test on the dough. actually making. Didn't really plan this out that well. But I'm going to line both of these just in case. 
would rather do a little bit more work now than later. Because I still have energy right now. set and ready to go whenever I need it. Aha! Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, let's take a look at that brief. Hmm. It hasn't really puffed up. Yeah, no, that's no. No, no, no. Shit ain't ready. where I wish I had like my own proofing box. That's like one thing I definitely miss about culinary schools. We had our own proofing boxes, which were amazing, I would like to add. Did you look to have friends in there? Nope, I didn't want to make myself sad. <laughs> To do its thing and I don't want to waste people's time I might put a BRB up on the screen uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is like the one bad thing about doing uh, bread based products for this for the stream like I can always make the bread ahead of time but just in case like someone new pops up every once in a while I like to make the bread live again so they know they know what's going on. They know what's good. Uh, if you want to look at my backlog, check out my YouTube channel. <laughs> I got shit there. Is it entertaining? Will you learn? Uh, fuck, I hope you do. Um, you know what? I, I want to show off my cake. I want to show off my cake. And, and describe what was done in order to fancify it. So this was my stuffed angel food cake that I made. I see Shane took another slice because he picked off the oranges. No, I don't really like Oh my god. Anyways. So this was the stuffed angel food cake that I was experimenting with because I made the filling slightly different. A cross section. And it's strawberry lemonade citrus theme. So normally, I think angel food cake normally has like almond extract in it maybe. But in this case, what I did was I added lemon zest and lemon extract. So the base of the cake itself is, it's got like a nice clean, bright flavor to it. A little lemony, but not like sour. And it was really good. Like, cause, cause of course, angel food cake is redonkulously sweet. So it had a very nice, interesting balance going on just from the cake itself. And then for the filling, I took this canned uh, lemon pie filling and I taste, I did a taste test of it first to see if it needed any adjustments, and who boy did it. <laughs> they called it a lemon pie filling, but was it though? It wasn't very lemony in my opinion. I wanted something more tart. I wanted something a little more sour, something unique. So I just slowly added, like whisked and incorporated some lemon juice until it was just the right balance of sour and sweet. And then I folded in whipped cream. <laughs> so it's like this like I, it's it's really hard to describe pudding like it's it's it was somewhat pudding like in consistency by the time I was done so there's this uh, lovely like lemon cream filling and then for the outer layer I mixed in strawberry jam 
and strawberry extract because I didn't have enough jam and I wanted it to be more strawberry <laughs> strawberry ish um, so I mix that all together put that on the outside so it's got this really nice strawberry sweet outer layer and this really sour but not like unpleasantly so filling in the ring and then I decorated the top with orange slices, mandarin orange slices, because it looked kind of naked. And I was like, this needs something. It needs a je ne sais quoi. And a birch, a birch or fringe. <laughs> so that's how that turned out. So I had a thick slice of that for my breakfast this morning <laughs> with a cup of coffee. And it was so decadent. But I needed to make a test run of this cake because I wasn't sure how the lemon filling was going to turn out. And like I said before, the person I was making this for for their birthday um, really likes lemon-based confectionery. So I wanted to try this. And it's so good. It's so freaking good. So the only adjustment I might make, um, instead of jam, I'm going to use um, jelly, strawberry jelly. Um, I couldn't remember if strawberry seeds bothered this person or not <laughs> so i decided no harm in just using the jelly then uh just in case so it's a nice smooth delicious easy eating experience um and instead of mandarin oranges what i might do is get some freeze-dried mango slices powder them up and sprinkle them on top because that turned out so well last time i tried that like not sarcastically like it turned out fantastic when I did it with the freeze-dried strawberries, but once again, I don't want to deal with the damn seeds. So I thought mango would be a better substitute in this case. Uh, it'll be st still really nice and bright and citrusy, and it will still lend itself incredibly well to the other flavor profiles going on. <laughs> Fancy words. I have killed five minutes going on about this cake. Woo! So more about these pork buns. They are a friend favorite. There's this one friend I have who is generally a fairly picky eater. They have a lot of uh, allergies, I guess I want to say. Um, their mouth burns very easily from various foodstuffs. Um, but they adore <laughs> these pork buns. Anytime there's a gathering or, uh, I want to give them a gift or something like that. They're like, Hey, can you make the pork, the pork buns <laughs> for me? I am craving the pork buns. And I was like, yeah, sure. So, and they're really easy to, to grab and snack on. Very filling, very delicious. And like I am at like and also this dough, the bread recipe itself, you can make it without putting anything into it, like no filling whatsoever. And they make very, very good hamburger buns. Um, so that's like the other dual purpose of this particular bread dough recipe. And I imagine I haven't tried this myself, mind you. You could you could fill it with basically anything you want as long as the filling is somewhat stiff. Uh <laughs> fantastic um because you don't want filling oozing out as you're trying to like pinch up the dough to seal it all in so you want something that's mashed potato consistency like a like a thick mashed potato is is the consistency you would want to look for in a filling so like theoretically if you added uh potato flakes to like a pot pie filling it could go in the bread like once again as long as it's scooped if you can scoop it and it keeps its form after you unscooped it that's a word um then it'll probably work in the bread dough honestly little little chicken pot pie buns sounds pretty freaking good mm -hmm. perhaps that'll be my next great experiment mm -hmm. <laughs> well because like chicken pot pies usually got like mm -hmm. potato cubes anyways yeah yeah so maybe instead of just chunks of potato, I'll add like the other vegetables and stuff, but then I'll add potato flakes as a thickener. Live brainstorming. Live brainstorming. I love brainstorming. Stamming. 
Oh, also, I wanted to show off this book again, in case there are new people here. I have no idea. This is a book I swear by, The Flavor Bible. No recipes in it whatsoever, but what it does have is a list, a huge comprehensive list of various ingredients, spices, and even in, like, uh, like, it's got a whole section on, like, Greek cuisine and stuff like that, but what it, so all these lists are flavor affinities. So you've got, let me see if I can zoom in enough without it fucking up. I can't, where's bacon listed? It's right here. So here you have bacon listed. And underneath bacon it has anything that could be paired with bacon that would enhance the bacon experience. So it's got aioli, avocados, beans, and then but here's an example, black fava green. Uh, it just says breakfast. That's not a flavor affinity. It's just, it goes good with breakfast. Bacon goes good with breakfast. The, the, the bacon experience. The bacon experience is enhanced by breakfast. So, I, I, I was just going to say it sounds like a great band thing. <sighs> Um, and it's butter unsalted because bacon is already fairly salty. Uh, celery, shriveled chicken, eggs. So it, it's just got this list of things that you could pair. Like, if you have bacon and you don't really know what to do with it, like, seasoning-wise, it's got a list here for what you could do to pair with it. And I found this so helpful for coming up with my own ideas and everything like that. So, um, my mom loves pork and cabbage she's she's very heavy into uh, german cuisine loves german cuisine so i can't remember if i looked up pork cabbage or germanic cuisine in here but i looked it up and i just identified a couple of ingredients on the list that i had in my own kitchen and threw it all together in the pot with pork and cabbage because she was just asking us oh just make me plain pork and cabbage don't add anything to it and i was like fuck that <laughs> I'm not going to give my mother plain pork and cabbage. Are you nuts? In my kitchen? With the amount of spices I possess? Hell no. So I I can't even remember what the recipe was anymore because I was just like, mm, yeah, these things, fuck it. But she loved it so much. She was like, this is the best pork and cabbage I have ever had. And I was like, oh, yeah, well, I added this, that, and the other. And she's like, you need to write it down. And then I never wrote it down. <laughs> I'm so bad about that. But no, that that book has been so good for coming up with new ideas and having them turn out good because <laughs> of course like you want to experiment on your own sometimes you're just curious it's like huh i wonder what will happen if i add these two things together and sometimes it doesn't turn out great but this is like a good fail safe guarantee this will turn out good and i adore it <laughs> like when i made my uh, fancy five spice cinnamon rolls the other week I consulted that book to see what would go good with cinnamon, the base spice, the most prominent spice. And I was like, oh, so all these other spices will go good. I wonder if that would enhance the cinnamon roll. And then, of course, uh, it was my own idea to add uh, the, 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 the Thai iced tea, ex like, a, like the, t the condensed Thai iced tea that I made. That, that was my own idea to add to the cinnamon roll icing that goes on top. I was like, oh, well, these spices fairly from, like prominent in Thai food. I bet if I made an icing with Thai iced tea in it, it would taste super good. And guess what it did? Yeah, it did. It tastes so good. Hold on a second. I got I to gotta step away from the computer for a second. Hello? She's got her legs crossed again. Oh, she got, did you want to cross them? No, her back legs are still crossed. All right, you done gone all crisscrossed applesauced. Yeah, give me a goddamn nose. All right, we got two more meanouts until we got to poke the dough again. Hmm. 
so in general, I've been really like enjoying this sweet week, savory week, off and on thing that I've been doing. Um, I don't know if I like having sweets this often in my home. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm not entirely certain what to do there. Because, <laughs> like, it, it, it's like it's been really fun flexing that creative muscle, coming up with uh, like new ideas, uh, new twists on old ideas, etc. Um, ow! I'm, I'm editing last week's video. <laughs> nice. This is, this is the one that... Oh, when the computer fucking died? Yeah, that was fun. (laughs) Yeah, a computer died in the middle of the stream, the laptop died in the middle of the stream last uh, week. And it was just like, oops, a fucky-wucky has occurred. So yeah, we're just waiting now for the bread to finally hurry the fuck up. And we'll be steaming half the buns, baking the other buns. And then we can have a side-by-side comparison of steamed versus baked. I personally prefer steamed buns. They're soft. They're delicious. They're, I mean, they're both going to be warm and delicious. But I, I like it's a, the mouthfeel, I guess. I like the mouthfeel of steamed buns more. It's just something very, very comforting. Soft, warm food. Um, but yeah, I keep thinking about it. I was like, man, I don't want and especially this week, because I, I made the test cake, and then I'm going to have to make the actual cake um, to deliver. And I'm just like, that's too many sweets. That's too many sweets. Um, so I might just do two savory weeks in a row. Maybe I'll, just, maybe I'll just start throwing in random sweet weeks as I feel like it. But, like, right now I'm, I'm a little sweeted out. <laughs> I want more savory goodness. So I'll probably come up with more dinner ideas, and especially in my home, savory things tend to go a little bit more quickly than sweets, so this way I don't feel like I'm wasting food, essentially. Like, we try not to waste food here. We try. But sometimes, uh, our best is not enough. Alright, please just be fucking done. It's rested for 30 minutes. It appears to have puffed up some. I mean, it feels nice. Ah. Eh. Okay. Enough browsing. We're just gonna. We're just gonna do it. We're gonna go for it. So to make sure that you have an equal amount of filling for each bun, use a ice cream scoop. This will make sure that there is an even distribution of meats. Uh, fuck me, how am I going to do this? Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to... I fucking can't because it's gone! What's wrong? <laughs> you know how I like to lay down plastic yes. when I'm messing with bread dough? Yes, we're out. We, there is no more plastic, it is heckin' gone. And I wouldn't want the bread to leach any of the foil flavor. Oh, uh, okay. I, I don't know if that would be a problem or not. I don't either. <sighs> I'm okay. I've just temporarily turned into a kobold. For real. Okay, I don't know how the fuck I'm going to do this. The counter's going to be messy. We're, I'm just going to have to clean it up. We'll do it in post. Alright, so you're just going to kind of degas a little bit, flatten it down, a gauche. We do not beat meats here, we beat bread. And then I'm going to get, uh, I got to get my pastry cutter. The fuck is my pastry cutter? I'm losing my marbles. It's fine. I had a pastry cutter. Once upon a time, I had one. I have no idea where it's gotten to. This is most frustrating. 
Oh, it, it was in the place where I thought it was, but like pushed way in the back. Go fucking figure. All right. So we want each of we want to <laughs> regroup, regather. 3.5 ounces for each bun. <laughs> So first, I'm going to, once again, try to get this even and as level as possible, and then I'm just going to start cutting into it like that. All right. All right. I'm going to turn this into a tube. hear it. All right, cut this in half, half again. Let's see where we're at. Holy shit! Whoa! 3.5 ounces on the money! Oh, that one's a little heavier, but that, that, that high was good. That was, that was a good high. 3.6, I'll fucking take it. Three, yep. I will take 3.6. I am not that fucking fussy. All right. Uh, this one, what was it? 4.2, that's a little much. That's a little much, all. God damn it. Yeah, you're fucking close enough. All right, so much like that, we'll continue on our way. Um, how do I want to do this? Because you want to make sure that your dough is covered while you're working with the other pieces. So just take the plastic or whatever you were using before and just kind of fucking throw it over. Once again, tube shape. Roughly tube shape. Doesn't have to be perfect because we got to roll these out anyways. So cut it in half, cut it in half again. Weigh it. No. Excellent. Okay. God damn it. These I got that one. I only get the one. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Not quite. There we go. All right, so you just keep going along, measuring, cutting, making sure each bowl is about three and a half ounces doesn't have to be perfect like if you're over or under by 0.1 or so it'll be fine everyone always complains that baking is such an exact science but like there's some there's some fuck there's room to fuck around with you can fuck around and find out a little bit as a treat I forgot to put you back under. Back you go. Okay. Point one three. That's a skosh too much. Yep, that'll do. I'm running out of can of space. So that was 4.1, shave off a little bit, shaved off too much. That was perfect, okay. All right, 
Is this now good enough? All right, good enough. All right, so last chunk of dough. Running out of can of room. We'll make it work. Okay. Making sure my babies don't dry out. We do not want dry babies. This is not the binding of Isaac. Second verse, same as the first. It's 4.1, 4.5 pieces. Yep, I only get that first cut. That first one was the only perfect one. baby. Okay. What's this at? 4.1. A little bit off. And we're there. Bam. So we might have like one really small like little fun bun. Mm, fun bun. Yeah, this one's going to be a little bit small, but that's our ten. That is okay. All right. Where's my tiny rolling pin? I don't want a big one. I want the small one. Do I have small rolling pin? There it is. Tiny rolling pin. All right, let's do a quick head count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. So, eight buns are going to be steamed. Eight buns are going to be baked. Hopefully that's the only tray I need. We shall find out. The slow cooked, spicy, sweet Korean barbecue pork. first is just kind of get them into an approximate ball shape. Approximately a ball. As quickly as you can because once again we don't want the bread drying out and getting gross. I realize you guys probably can't see what I'm doing there. Hold on. So what I'm doing is on the counter, I'm taking my hand and then using my hands to tuck in the dough as I roll it, like that. And it becomes approximately ball shaped. Hope, I hope, I hope that helps. It was a little hard to do in my hand because my hand uh, has a different texture to the surface of the counter. It clings a little bit more better to the counter. So I'm able to more quickly get it where I need to be. And I'm only doing this somewhat roughly because we have to roll them out anyways. I just want to get them into the shape so it uh, lost my train of thought. It'll go into a circle a little bit more easily. I'll probably roll it out on the stove top because I'm running out of room. We 
wait a minute. Yeah, nope, okay. I masked correctly. I know I can't. Shut up. Um, I'm going to hit them all with a bit of so they stay nice and fresh. And then I'll cover them up. Take this one. And we'll get started. So yeah, you just want to Flour would probably help here, but you know what? I am so beyond the point of caring, and I don't want to make like a big floury mess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flatten it, peel it up, turn it, and since this isn't like a pie dough or anything like that, like you can handle it like a little bit roughly. It's not gonna rip or anything. It's very pliable. See, everything's fine. And since the gluten has time to relax and everything, it is, what the fuck, get out of, get out, okay. And then what you do here is you take a nice compact scoop of whatever your filling is. In this case, it's this delicious slow cooked Korean pork barbecue. Slap it down in the middle. And then I'll probably make the ones I'm steaming a little bit differently from the ones that are baking. So the ones that are steamed, I'll make like a tight, like a little vent at the top instead of rolling it into a ball. So let's see, I forgot how I want to do this. It's been a while since I've folded and pressed. Uh... So you take up a bit, bring it over, pinch it together. Take it up, bring it over, pinch it together. Rotate, pinch. Fold and pinch, fold and pinch, fold and pinch, and then fold and pinch. Mm. This might take a couple of tries for me. I have not done this in quite some time, so maybe maybe I'll just make this one into a baked bun. So yeah, and this is another reason why you want to make sure that your dough has a lot of, not like too much moisture, but some moisture, because... Then you can pinch it together, make a nice sealed bun so your meats don't fall out. <laughs> yes, this will definitely be part of the Feast of Plenty. So I do kind of the same thing I did earlier to uh, kind of twist it up, make sure it's all nice. And then boom, a delicious little meat-filled bun. Put it there. Um, I'm gonna have to get another garbage bag to at least cover this nonsense. Because we don't want it to dry out. We'll just kind of throw it on top. Bam. All right, we continue. Since I these these ones were done first. I work from here because these ones have had the most time to rest. Bam. You just continue along like this, rolling, scooping, folding. Just kind of mush that down just a skosh. Trying to do it like how I like to do it with the uh steam buns, but holy shit, it has been a minute. Man, fuck that kitchen towel. How did I do this before? I had a skill once upon a time, and now it is gone. That is supremely frustrating. Maybe if I'm, and I, did I used to hold it while I did it? 
Oh my god, I don't know anymore, y'all. I'm losing my ever-loving fucking marbles. Try doing it in my hand this time. Maybe it'll turn out a little better. It just it felt weird. Like you know, I don't know if this is relatable or not, but like you had a skill once upon a time, but you can't remember exactly how you did it. So like it, it, until you figure it out, so it feels like wrong somehow. It just doesn't feel quite right. That's about where I'm at with this fucking steamed bun nonsense. I had knowledge. I have lost it. I am trying to now reclaim it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Was I a magician then? Have I lost my magics? You know what? That's that's about it. That's so you leave a little vent in the top there. That, yeah, it's not pretty, but that's about how I did it. Okay, I figured it out. I got it back. I'm going to just put this over here for now. So that means about four buns per level. Missed it. We continue. Put a lid on it. Okay. I was seriously losing my mind. I could not remember how I did the fucking fold. That wasn't my best attempt, mind you, but it's definitely a fair sight closer <laughs> to what it was before than the previous ones that I was just like, fuck it, it's a bun now. It's a, it's a baked bun. Okay. Let it shrink a little bit. Let it come back. Continue to roll it out. Pick it up, flip it. Smooth out them wrinkles. I seriously love having this kind of stove top because it's basically like if I'm not using it, it's extra counter for me and I fucking adore counter space. So good. All right. So I'm going to, now that I've remembered how to do the steam buns, I'm going to finish making the baked buns, which you can just do by picking up corner to corner. Don't worry about doing fancy fucking folds. Just bring all the corners together. Pinch them together like this. Pick it up, flip it over. Judge it around a little bit. And then it is basically sealed at this point. Of course, I'm paranoid because I don't want filling to fall out everywhere. Add a little bit of water. Yeah, see, I see you coming apart. You ain't fooling nobody. You ain't going to fall apart on me. Added a little bit of water to help make the dough a little bit more glue-like at the seams. Okay. I am now tempted to look at the other buns to see how they're doing. Yeah, kinch you a little bit more. 
hint. Hint the, the babies. And this one seems to be fine for the most part. Okay. Time. Oh, now that I know I get my money making eight, I can go ahead and count these out. So that's just, I need seven. So three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Is that my parchment paper counted out for the bun buns. Oh yes, kettle is little, little finish. Um, a conversation that you missed earlier that you might be interested in. Uh, so this is just my favorite go-to meat filling for these buns, but like if you have like any like thick mashed potato consistency type filling would do just as well in these buns as this stuff. So I was even considering like making like a pot pie type filling. So you have little pot pie buns. I thought that was a pretty good idea, so I might experiment with that at some point in time. venison I know that has nothing to do with what was just said but like venison buns like stewed venison oh my god inside these buns would be absolutely fantastic Now, when you say mutton, do you mean like, uh, like lamb? I just want to double check. Like, I, I, I think that's what lamb is, is basically mutton. But I'm not entirely certain. Now, I also friggin' adore lamb. I think I've made, uh, spicy, like, I, I used, a uh, ground lamb because it's cheaper than getting, like, uh, chunks of lamb or whatever, lamb leg, or brown lamb is just cheaper where I'm at. Um, I think I made uh, spicy ground lamb buns, uh, and those were also really good. Friggin' loved them. I'm just practicing the folds whenever I'm doing the steam buns. them all together. Pinch, pinch, pinch. But the, in particular, this meat to bread ratio is like amazing. Because it's, it's not like, it's not too bready. Uh, and it's got like a, like a lot, like a good meat filling. So it's very hearty and filling little bun. Like, it doesn't look like much, but when you go to pick it up, you're like, oh, that's pretty heavy for that size. And it's delightful. Because I, I hate it when, uh, like, bakeries and stuff, like, skimp out on fillings. Like, I understand why it's not cost-effective to absolutely stuff your products to the brim. But that's why I like my stuff better. So that's five, six, seven, okay, yeah. I think I'll be able to fit all eight on this one pan. Excuse me, heck up, hold on.
obviously it'd be great if I didn't have any filling left over because sometimes I do and I have to like figure out what the crap I want to do with it. Normally I make like rice or mashed potatoes or some other carb food to have with it, but it'll be great if I can just put them all in the bun. You don't have a lamb season? Man, I fucking hate the United States. I would like to have a lamb season here. But no, it's all about that beef. It's all about other meats. I just want lamb. To be fair, we don't really have meat seasons in general. Well, you know what? Maybe we fucking should. <laughs> then maybe lamb would have unless, a goddamn chance. Unless you count November as turkey season. <laughs> Man. Well, there's also, like, deer hunting season, which I guess would count as, like, a meat season. But, like, you don't, yeah. you don't, you can't. It's hard to buy deer commercially. Yes. They like, have you to have to go to, like, a specialty butcher shop. Or you have to know someone. <laughs> And, like, it's not terribly hard to find someone that hunts deer. But, like, people, though? Man. I don't want to. Oh, my God. Reindeer? It's like, I do wish that more there was a more variety of meats for me to choose from for my local grocery store because i like rabbit rabbit is basically the popcorn of meat it's it's so tasty but not particularly filling like popcorn and i i love lamb and i love deer but no what about the beef industry Beef industry. I had rabbit like I think once or twice in my life, and I loved it both times. Is my brother made a rather excellent uh, rabbit bait? I think it was my brother. He made a rather excellent rabbit based uh, dish, and it was so friggin' good. He also made a fantastic duck one year for, I want to say, Thanksgiving. And he made this just phenomenal, uh, it was, I think it was an asparagus. It was green, it was and it, a gravy to go along with the duck. And it was so, it was so good. It was so phenomenal. I also have to get his chicken pilaf recipe from him because he does things with the almonds and golden raisins. And it's just so, so good. Just pinch the bread. Pinch the bread much like you would pinch a naughty grandchild's cheeks. Pinch, pinch the cheeks. And, like, I, I actually have a place I can buy, like, whole rabbit here. But, like, I'm, a, I'm, I'm honestly, like, a little intimidated by it. Like, I'm not grossed out, ew, whole rabbit, because it's a whole ass rabbit. It's got the head and everything, and I, I can buy it. I can buy it rather easily. But I just, like, I'm, I'm a little intimidated by, like, the whole butchering process. And it's not, like, big butchering. Like, it's, it's skinned and everything, but it's still... Even though it's such a little creature, it feels like a lot to deal with. And I'm afraid I would fuck it up. And I don't know, I don't want to waste money on something I'm going to fuck up. But like, I, ha I want to do it eventually. I want to get the rabbit and make a rabbit stew.
me, you know, it's, it's, it's the, it's the whole rabbit body, but like skinned and everything. It doesn't have the ears or anything left on, but it's, you can definitely tell that's a head attached to a body. And it's just like, I don't know how to go about breaking this down. Like, I'm assuming removing the head from the shoulders is a good start, but at the same time, it's like, it is, mm, I don't know. It's just, it's just one of those random things that, like, I don't really know. <laughs> like, like, rationally, I know, but, like, emotionally, I'm like, is this right, though? Like, I, I second-guess myself constantly on that sort of shit. It made uh, school very difficult because my teachers were always like, Mimi, you're, like, actually kind of smart. But like, you're always asking, but I don't know if that, you're, you're always adding, you're always throwing on a, but I don't know if that's right or not, though. <laughs> and it frustrated them greatly, because it's like, you, you're right. I wish you had a little bit more confidence in yourself. I'm like, no, I'm a teenager. <laughs> I'm a teenager with, like, stupid low self-esteem. But now I'm an adult with moderately low self-esteem. Improvement. Just trying to get the distribution of dough a little bit more evenly. If you tend to just focus on one side of it, the dough will build up there. And... I would like an even distribution. All right, quick final head count. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, okay. Little extra zhuzh of water. We cover. We forget for a little bit. Yes, I did. I actually saw your video on uh, YouTube uh, of that acrylic flower, and it is super pretty. And speaking of like other hobbies that I have aside from this, um, I do paint uh, wargaming miniatures and stuff like that. Um, not a ton, but I do uh, commission work for a friend who likes having their minis painted. And I'm working on a, a shadow dragon for them. And I'm not entirely certain how I want to go about doing it, because they sent me a reference picture. This is not going to be enough meat, is it? Fuck. Okay. I mean, this is fine. I don't mind having more bread. Bread is fine. Leftover meats is less fine, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, but the, the reference photo that he had shown me of that black shadow dragon, um, the, uh, it had like a, like, like a purple color, like, blooming out of the chest a little bit and I was trying to figure out about how to go about that artistically and I think the way I want to do it is uh, kind of like how some doll artists go about it and I'm going to try using soft pastels to get that neat blooming effect on it and I think that will work. I shall wait and see. Yeah, it's about right. Now these ones that I'm leaving with a with a vent in the top are going in the steamer basket. So maybe if I have any buns left over, maybe I'll make some dessert buns, slap some Nutella in there, some shit.
I think there's yeah there's about enough left in there for two more yeah so there'll be like a handful of buns left over for me to make into like dessert buns or some shit like these I, I stated earlier and uh, much earlier in the stream that I particularly like these uh, cupcake wrappers because like pretty much nothing sticks to them which is great that's what you want for a cupcake wrapper um, because that means you get to eat more delicious things because it's not stuck to the wrapper and like, yeah, I know you can like lick and like pry stuff off the wrapper, but I'd rather not. That seems like more hassle than it's worth a lot of the time. I'd rather just have the whole product come out of the wrapper and try to wrestle the wrapper for what is rightfully mine. So yeah, I think I will do a we'll be back video because uh, between uh, proofing, because th this this will have to the bread will have to proof. Uh, I guess I can put the the uh, I, I had a little bun. I'll use the little bun for that stuff. Um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, between the proofing and the baking, it's going to be like a really long while. And I think I've exhausted uh, my banter. I will keep the meat flavored buns on the bottom so that way if meat juices run down it won't contaminate the desserts. You're the little bun. Little bun bun. So yeah this little one will be perfect for the I think that's like a half scoop maybe. Not a lot. Last meat bun. I'm trying to salvage as much meat as I can. All right. I have successfully used all the meats. And I had actually, so the recipe that's on the screen right now is a double the amount I would usually make. Um, for one batch, so it turns out that doubling it was the correct choice, because now all the meats are getting used up. Oh, well, that one got a little fucky looking. This is fine. This is fine. I'm gonna... Put this in the steamer basket, wash my hands right quick to get all the, the meats is off, and then I will start figuring out what to do with the hot meat buns. First, do that little number. Ooh, now there's an idea. 
ideas. Well. <sighs> Alright. So I don't know if I should do Nutella stuffed buns or if I should do uh, brown sugar with spices stuffed in the bun. I already have cinnamon rolls in the fridge that still have to be eaten. So I thought maybe using the Nutella would be a pretty good... So there's like some variety. I think I'll go for variety. Though the idea of having the brown sugar spices stuffed on sounds pretty good too. I'm going to check over here real quick. Yeah, I'm just going to do the Nutella. The Nutella needs to be used up anyway. Now for this, I'm going to get my slightly smaller ice cream scoop. It's actually a cookie dough scoop, I believe. And I think that will be the best option for what I am trying to accomplish. I have too many junk drawers for various size appliances. So yeah, tiny scoop, a side-by-side -side comparison. So this one is definitely a lot tinier. I think this would be nicer instead of having a large blob of Nutella. You have a a uh, manageable size blob of Nutella. I don't know how well the goat milk is going to taste with this, but we're going to find out. going to be a little bit like a molten lava bun maybe. Now this one I'm not going to um, leave a vent in the top. I'm going to completely seal this one. I think I rolled it out too much because now I'm like how the fuck am I going to do this? I won't roll the next one out so much now that I know exactly how much filling I'm working with. And since uh, all of the buns have a pre-cooked filling, there's nothing raw going inside of it, you, you just gotta cook it until the dough itself looks cooked, so you don't got to worry about the filling or anything, which is nice. Ugh, even covering it with the plastic, these are still starting to feel slightly drier than when they went in. All right, yeah, that, that, that looks about fine. All right. And all the dessert buns are just going to be steamed because I can't be fucked to get out another baking tray.
And this will also be a very good and easy way at a glance to see what kind of filling is in here. Is if it's open based, it's got the savory filling. If it's completely closed and it's steamed, because steamed and baked will look very different. Baked, of course, will start to get a nice, lovely, uh, uh, golden brown color. There we go, mouth words. Uh, whereas the steam won't gain any color at all, really. It'll just be really about as pale as it is right now. Um, so it'll be really easy to tell at a glance. All right. I'm going to laugh if I run out of fucking Nutella, too. Ugh. No, you're not allowed to have enough filling to do everything in me. You're just not allowed. Okay. bone in my uh, low back popped. Sometimes it just does that. I wiggle a little bit. I like flex my hips or something and boom, a bone will just fucking pop. I've seen, I've seen it made a miscalculation of some kind because I still have two buns over here and yet I did not get enough wrappers. I have miscounted somewhere down the line and that is unacceptable! enough Nutella just to do the buns. Oh my god, this has been sitting in my pantry for far too fucking long. It just, it feels good to just finish up using a food product. It feels like I, I, I like won or something like that. It's like, hi, yes, I did not waste money. I did not fuck around until something went bad and I had to throw it out. It's just a good feeling that I enjoy of using up something in its entirety. Oh, and I'm gonna have to make an egg wash for uh, the buns that are going into the oven like a glaze of some kind. It's going to be uh, an egg, a tablespoon of oil, and a tablespoon of sugar and salt. one y'all I'm gonna get a the tiny spatula I'll get the tiny spatula spatula. Now gets out the last of the Nutellas that I could not get with the scooper. A 
I've seen like you know like those five minute hacks or whatever fucking videos I was like oh no a Nutella that you can't get out but you don't want to waste the Nutella uh put some hot milk in it now you have a hot chalky is about where I'm at with this fucking Nutella it's like if I really want to use all of it I will make a hot chalky with it because like I can't it's just, it's just schmears of Nutella. I can't do anything with that. Cannot grab it. The last bun bun. Hold up, I fucking. Am I done? It's ten. No, I. I did it right. I'm just. I don't know. I'm done. It's fine. It's fine. He's uh, fun, 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 fun. I can throw this away, put this in the sink and clean. All right. Now we wait. It is now the waiting game. Bread's got a bread. All right. Make sure all of your cuties are tucked up nice and safe. Timer for, let's say, 40 minutes. Recipe says for an hour. Once again, it's the fast yeast. We'll see how that goes. For now, I'm going to attempt to tidy up. Thankfully, this wasn't as messy as I anticipated. Just got to wipe up the hell, stove a little. And the counter. And then boom, we're done. Oh, this can mixer is looking a little grungy. you take care of your kitchen equipment and it will last you a long time. I have had the stand mixer since I was in culinary school. That was many moons ago. So, so many moons. All right. Now on the topic of this goddamn Nutella. How the fuck do I want to do this? Okay. First, I'm going to uh, get some uh, milk. What is this? Almond? I'm going to get some almond milk. And I'm going to microwave it because I don't feel like heating something up on the stove right now. Oh, maybe I'll put like cinnamon and cardamom in my Nutella hot chocolate. Ooh. Woo. A little bit more. Okay. Oh, my legs. My god dang legs. All right. Okay. Hook 
okay, okay, okay. The Pansy Cinnamon. This is cardamom. It's very important. Fuck. I dropped the nutmeg on the laptop. It's fine. It didn't bust open. The laptop's fine. I just got uh, fucky hands. And then ground clove. This is this is an extra bonus on the fly recipe. So just put in a little bit of all of these spices. It smells lovely. And then you want to get a tiny whisk. A tiny whisk. Mix it up. I'm not going to bother with sugar or anything because uh, Nutella is going to be added to this at some point. Or it's going to be added to Nutella. Something. And since I don't know if nut based milks get like a skim on it like regular milk does. I'm gonna find out. Frig. Okay, Google. Start a 35 minute timer. Second timer for 35 minutes. And we're starting now. <sighs> I can't use the microwave while I'm using the timer on it, so I had to switch over my timers. Uh, 30... A whole minute. We're going to go for a whole minute and see how that does. Also be getting to that point in the evening where I've got to medicate. Oh, my hands barely touch the spices, but they smell so good already. This bodes well for the Nutella chalky milk. BTS songs fucking stuck in my head because I play them obsessively on Beat Saber. Cannot wait for Beat Saber to finally come out with a new music pack. Last time I checked, they were uh, doing a heavy metal original music pack. Let's do one. Okay. And I am very hyped for that. I like heavy metal. So, I am very, very hopeful about the outcome to that music pack. Oh my god, it smells so good. This is going to be some decadence, I bet. Oh my god. So, I, w I was at the, uh, the grocery store, as I do weekly. And I cannot believe how expensive spices have gotten. Like, I don't remember fucking ground ginger being near ten fucking dollars for a small vial of it. I'm pissed. Like, I understand spices in general are supposed to be, like, a little pricey. But, like... When ginger starts being half the price of fucking saffron, I start to get a little testy. I've never even used saffron. It is, it is. I, so this is coming from a, a place of not knowing how saffron is processed or anything, but it feels needlessly expensive. 
and maybe I'd change my tune if I learned how it was processed, gathered, grown, etc. But from a place of total fucking ignorance, it feels expensive as shit. Off, time to clean off the scoop because we ain't wasting shit here, baby. Come on, just give me the damn Nutella. Nutella handbag, Nutella handbag, Nutella handbag, Nutella handbag. So far, it doesn't seem to be developing a skin, which is really fucking cool, because I hate when uh, I make a hot chocolate or something with milk, and it develops a skin on top. I think it's fucking nasty. Nasty skin. I do not want my milk products to have skins if they get too hot. It is bullshit. Alright, we have seen... I feel like that's enough gathered off of the scoopies, the scoopo. Okay. I'm going to put that in there for another 30 seconds and then I'm going to pour it directly into the hotel container and then shake like a beach. Some mess was made. This was inevitable. But we have the technology to clean it up. So now we just shake it all up. We continue to shake it up. want my hot chalky Nutella. We're almost there, I think. There seems to be a couple of places that are being needlessly stubborn. give this a whisk and see how it tastes. I might add three pumps of caramel sauce, depending. Yeah, that doesn't much taste like chocolate. I guess the ratio of chocolate to not chocolate was just too much for it to bear. The spices taste phenomenal, though. So it's got that going for it, which is nice. Okay. 
That is all nice and cleaned up now. So to bring balance to the force, I'm going to add Penzi's hot chocolate mix. About yay much. Give it a sippy. We are getting closer. Would you please just fucking not? Yes, yeah, second battery is yep. Closer. And if this doesn't do it, then we're going for the caramel sauce. Yes, this needs a couple pumps of caramel sauce. This is my caramel sauce of choice. The Torani's sugar-free caramels. I'm just now catching up, Kittle. Oh, fuck. Schnurks. <laughs> Schnurks. Is not made. Is not made of hazelnuts. Now that is a dank hot chocolate. Oh boy, did that need some alterations. So let's see, that was scraps of Nutella. Cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, cardamom, a frack ton of Penzi's hot chocolate mix, hot almond milk, and three pumps of sugar-free Tarani caramel beverage sauce. And now it is an actual beverage that tastes good. <sighs> this is actually a really good drink now. <laughs> After a million fucking alterations, to be fair, I, I also used unsweetened almond milk, which is probably part of the fucking problem. But you know, we're not going to adjust that. I'm just going to uh, sip all the things, I'm going to sip my homemade four loco. I'm going to sip chocolate milk. I'm going to have a grand time sipping all the beverages. All right. Woo! How much time is left on my timer? Mr. Timer, give me your time, bum 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 bum, make it the finest time that ever timed, bum 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 bum, it's 22 minutes until I can, uh, bake shit, potentially, potentially, I'm gonna go bring, mm, I'm a skosh drunk now because of the beverage I had, I'm gonna go bring the sushi in for a tiny sippy sip.
Cobal with the hot chocolate. He was most impressed. And now I gotta put away all the fucking spices I pulled out. It was very good hot chocolate. I had many sippies before I passed it on. What the fuck fell over? Okay. It is unfortunate that the spice rack is directly behind the laptop. I do apologize. I've basically, like, so, <laughs> I've recently, like, basically, like, rediscovered cardamom. And I love it so much. It's so tasty. Who? What's going on? I just... My phone has like a million notifications on it. Mm, yes. Aw. Shane was a darling and was being my social media manager essentially and tweeted out from my account because he has my permissions. Um, Oven light. Oven light? There we go. Uh, tweeted out what I was doing this evening. He is a good man. He is a gentleman. Man, I don't want to wait for bread to be done. I just want to eat bread. We've got 18 more minutes. I don't want to wait. I, I want to eat pork buns. I want Nutella buns. Hold on, I gotta go. I gotta go. Shane knew that there were Nutella buns since he left before the Nutella buns became a thing. I just want to bake. I don't want to wait. I just want to bake. I don't want to wait. I just want to bake. But in order to bake, I gotta wait. 17 minutes. How does Shane do this thing? Shiny ass forehead, what the fuck? Uh, buns on the Discord group chat phone, audio input to capture of encounter. Intermission? Is intermission the thing I want? I click it, I can't. I, I clicked intermissions, uh, but I don't know how to edit it at all. It's all Shane. Shane is my um, media manager and my technical advisor. And <laughs> basically everything uh, except for head chef. I am head chef. I am head baker. But he is literally everything else, so I don't know how to do anything. This is rather unfortunate because I would just like to fuck off at the moment. I would love to fuck off, but I don't know how to fuck off. I don't know how to edit the intermission card. I don't know how to do that. It is quite unfortunate. 
Why am I talking like this? I don't know. What even is this voice? I just, I just want, I just want to wait. I just want, I wish I had time controls. I wish I could bake right now, but the bread says no, we are not done, madam. We are not done puffing up. I just want Nutella buns. I just want pork buns. I want all the buns. Shit. I'm, I, I am heels to the sky western spy at the moment. Because if I'm heels to the ground comrade found, I cannot see the laptop. We don't know what to do anymore. I've done all the things. I've made beverages. I've made buns. I've stuffed the buns. I'm terribly sorry, but I am out of things to do at the moment. So you're just going to have to look at my stupid face. Because this is all that's left. There is no wisdom for me to embark upon you. It is just me and my face. <laughs> oh. So yeah, we're just waiting at this point for the time to go off for the bun buns. I don't, I don't really know what to do anymore. I don't. What does one do in this situation when they're out of work? There's nothing to clean. There's nothing to make. There is nothing. <laughs> Sorry, I went a little golem there. Did not intend to be a little golem, but I did. Thirteen more fucking minutes. Only Zool! <laughs> I could bring the pot up to a boil so it can start steaming because that's going to take a while for it to to do. We're just going to go high heat for maximum steamies. Eh. The camera angle. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Uh, I just want bread. But the bread isn't ready to become bread. It is only proto-bread. Okay. Man, I don't know. I don't know how other people do it. I don't know how people banter endlessly about any topic seemingly. I don't know the art of banter yet. So I don't know how to keep anything going. It's just me being manic all over the place. Like this is supposed to be somewhat instructional. But it is not being instructional. It is being just fucking weird. Like once you take away me talking about the process of whatever I'm doing, I am not the Archbishop of Panterbury. <laughs> I am not. I am not. Because I'm I was I was that person, that child, that friend growing up that just listened, didn't really have much to add to many situations. It's just like, yes, just nod your head and smile and and if you feel really bad about not catching a word, speak up and be like, oh, what was that? I couldn't quite hear you. 
I don't, I am a boring person. When it comes down to it, I feel like I'm very ordinary, very boring. <laughs> I can't because I would get copyright striked. That is the unfortunate part of this, is, is that I can't just put on elevator music and fuck off because some, some music industry would be like, no, our properties are being used without us being funneled money. I don't know what this voice is. I don't know what this character is. I am, I just snapped my underwear and it hurt. <laughs> fuck. I'm glad it's not just me. I'm glad it's not just me. I was, like, th theoretically, I could put up uh, the original soundtrack for Beat Saber because those guys are cool and are like, yes, please use our music. Please do Twitch streams with the music. Uh, but if you use any of their music packs, uh, like their monster pack or their BTS pack, that gets striked down. But the original Beat Saber music... That's okay, because they're cool and gave permissions. Oh my god, I just... I'm just ready for bread at this point. Nine more fucking minutes. Nine more fucking minutes until bread! How are we... We're starting to steam up a little bit. By the time that's going, uh, the bread will probably be... ready to start bakings. I can make the egg wash. I need to make the egg wash. That's what I can do. <laughs> yes. Finally, an answer to my woes of not knowing what to do with my fucking hands. All right. So since this is a Korean themed dish, flavored dish, we're going to be using sesame oil. For the wash. Threw this fucking thing away finally. It was taking up room in my fridge for one goddamn egg. One egg, that whole thing was taking up the damn fridge for one fucking egg. A second tiny whisk. There we go. Alright, one egg and then one tablespoon each of oil, sugar, and salt. And that will make a lovely wash for the bun. Alrighty. So first I'm going to add my dry stuff so it doesn't stick to the damn spoon. No reason to actually use kosher salt, it's just what I had on hand. You can use iodized salt in this case. Sugar. Nice. I will keep that in mind. Thank you for the helpful tip because holy shit. Oh. We get a lot of dead air on here. <laughs> Whatnot. 
and that will be the wash for our bun buns. That is definitely worth considering. Okay, now I need to find my pastry brush. And then we will use this to slather on our egg wash. Please tell me we're getting close to time. Five more minutes. I'm going to start washing it now. They have puffed up slightly in my absence. And it sounds like, yes. Yes, my, this nonsense has started steaming. It's all coming together. And brushing this stuff on will make for a lovely golden product. Maillard reaction and all that jazz. Make sure you get all the way around the bun bun and you coat it thoroughly. The toasted sesame seed oil will taste rather nice glazed on top of these. And of course the ones being steamed don't need to be bothered with because they're being steamed and this will be fine. A glaze is pretty much useless on steamed goods. Alrighty. Now it is unfortunate that I'll be throwing what is left here away. There's still quite a bit, but uh, eh, it's not that much of literally anything. It hurts, but I, I have to keep in mind that this is not much. It is not. Hurt my own fifis slightly by doing that, but this is fine. Now we shall return the salt and the oil to their homes. They have performed their duties magnificently. Now it is the time. Two more minutes. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the bread in two minutes early. I don't fucking care anymore. In you go. For 15 minutes. We are now in the home stretch of today's operations. We've got bun steaming, we've got them baking. We will have many variety of bun bun in which to enjoy. The bun recipe has gone into the recipe box for safe keepings. As safe as, as safe as it can be. It's so dumb. Like I, I love that it's a stupid lockbox. It's like, yes, my recipes are so special that I must put them in a lockbox that a five-year-old with a magician's kit could unpick. Oh. Oh. Bun buns. A 
bun buns. Bunny buns, bunny buns, does whatever a bun does. Fills you up nice and warm. Well, that one kind of fell apart. Okay, that's disappointing but understandable. Have a nice day. I honestly don't know. Hold on a second. I gotta Google something real quick. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Get some help. How long to steam a bread? That's for a pressure cooker. I'm not looking for a fucking pressure cooker. I'm looking for like tiny buns. Oh, I'm seeing buns and bamboo steamer. It says six minutes. I don't know how long it's been. Maybe about that long? Like, they're looking pretty done. Like, I've, I've made these before, and they, those look pretty, pretty goddamn done. Ah, oh, so pretty. Look at them. Glossy, gorgeous, pretty little white buns. <coughs> Fuck. How? <coughs> Why? Ugh. Okay. I'm fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. How do I want to go about this, though? I just, I just wish, you know how Bane from Batman broke Batman's back, just, just clean over the knee, just snap that motherfucker? I want that. I want that. My bones scream for that. My bones desire the crunch. I hear you say, Mimi, that sounds like you would fucking die. And I say to you, maybe? Probably. But I cannot help it if my brain's like, yes, that, that feels like a thing that should crunch. The thing crunching being my bones. I can't help it if I desire crunchy bones. Well, they smell fantastic. Yeah, this one right here just opened up like a flower. It's just like, fuck it. But they are definitely cooking, which is great. How are my oven babies doing? Delightfully so. Excellent. I am hungry and I desire the nongs. I'm actually not that hungry. Probably probably because I, I drank a lot of that hot chocolate that I gave to Shane. But everything seems to be going rather smoothly. I need to fix my, my sous chef. Hold on. My sous chef is in a state, a state of distress a bit. I have tiny chef there. I need to, like, sew the loops of this rolling pin onto his little arms. His wee arms. He's got a little cookie tray. I adore this bear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. 
you were. Okay, these buns in the steamer are probably done at this point. This is another reason why I particularly enjoy the steamer basket, is because they cook rather quickly. Yes. Yes! Lift them out gently. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. So yes, as you can see between the wrappers I put them on and the parchment paper that I lined the bamboo steamer with. They are coming out very nicely and easily. I need to practice my bun folding technique because holy shit. They are looking a right mess. Okay, 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 and here we go. I'm going to go inquire to whether Shane wants a baked bun or a steamed bun. One of each bun, please, he says. So one of each bun he shall get. A quick peeky peek. They are still looking good. He has been delivered a steamed bun. I must admit, my heart greatly desires a Nutella bun. It's a little hot right now. But yeah, the dough isn't that much like the color wise it's not that different from when i was rolling it out that's the difference really but yeah the dough isn't raw it's 
cooked all the way through. It's got fine air bubbles, warm gooey Nutella in the middle. Hmm. I'm having dessert first. Tell no one. Hmm. That's really quite good. And I guess enough, not enough powdered milk was used in making up for it to make that big of a difference. It tastes really good. I really do like steamed bread. It's really soft. And tender. And of course I'm getting fucking chocolate everywhere because I can't seem to keep chocolate contained. I'm sorry for you, you can't have any of this. None of this is for puppers. Precisely 0% of this is for puppers. It looks like I'm gonna have to keep this stuff in the oven for a little bit longer. It hasn't even begun to brown on top. Hi. You've discovered that I am at floor level. Congratulations. Needy boy. Needy stepchild. Ambrose desires the beatings at all time. He's one of those cats. Don't lick my feet, you fucking weirdo. Hmm. Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you? Don't be fucking weird. Hi, baby. I'm not giving the cat anything, I promise you. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh god damn it, I just sat down on the floor. Yeah, the buns in the oven, haha, <laughs> aren't quite done yet. So we'll give them another five minutes. And see how they turn out. In the meantime, I'm going to sit on the floor and crack my bones. Hi, Play Baby. Hello, Play Baby. Hello. Yes, I'm now on floor level. Oh, okay. And now the other side. Oh, okay. Oh 
Oh my god, Ambrose. Why are you so needy? I let him breathe into the mic a little bit. I'm pretty sure he's got asthma. He purrs real funny. The banana child. The banana boy. Thank you for licking the mic, you fucking weirdo. He's just happy to finally have some attention. He hates he hates when I stream. He fucking hates it. Because I'm I'm his primary source of uh lap in this house. So if I'm not sitting down, he's not getting any lap. And this is very distressing for him for some reason. He will come in the kitchen occasionally while I'm streaming, and he likes to scream at me. And and he also attempts to climb my leg because I've taught him to climb my leg now. That was a mistake. But I taught him to climb a little. So when I'm feeling a little achy, he can still get pets. Ambrose. Yes, much like that. There we go. This is how we get attention from mother now. Yes. So yeah, if I'm having a particularly bad pain day and I can't bend down to uh, give in to his highness's fucking demands, he knows to reach up on my leg like that now. Once again, this was a mistake teaching him this because now he thinks he can do this to anybody, including my mother, and my mother does not like this small creature because he bullies her granddaughter. Yes, he bullies Freya, and she does not like that because Freya is her favorite grandchild. We're getting closer. We're getting a little bit more golden browned now. Lord of mercy. What? What do you want? <laughs> Oi, just, fuck off, I'm trying to do something right now. I gotta make room on top of the stove for the other buns. What? Roo, roo, roo. What? Row, row, row. Oh, row, row, row. Roo, 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 roo. Oh. Oh. One baby. You can't, you can't have this. It's not pupper safe. It's not safe for puppers, Freya. Maybe, maybe for your birthday, your gotcha day in March. I will make you cupcakes. I will make cupcakes for stream one day. Would you like that? Would you like if mommy made you cupcakes for stream? I could make you cupcakes for stream. Alright, we are getting close to go time. Yeah, I gotta rotate them. Because they are not quite golden on all of them. Alrighty. We'll do three minutes because they're like a little browned, but not. Ooh, hiccup. As 
browned as I would like, shall we say. Oops, on. I got the towel on my fucking shirt. Excuse me. Excuse me, I would like to get to the wet wipes. Yes, madam. I might pick it up from all the way over here. Neat. Well, maybe if you don't want to get stepped on, Ambrose, maybe don't be like literally under my goddamn feet. Ah, uh, my nose is runny and I hate it. All right, after this, I'm just calling it. I don't care if they're. If they look a little underbaked, we're just calling it. We're just calling it there. I'm just gonna call it there. We'll be fine. What do you want? Do you wish to be held for a little bit more? You look like a boy that would like to be held. Don't look at me, look at the camera. Look at the camera. Look at it. Look at the camera. Okay, secretly, this is the Ambrose podcast. This is the Ambrose stream. With waking thrown in. Isn't that right? This is actually the Ambrose stream. But we fill in the gaps with, with cooking and baking. And why are you biting me? Why do you bite? What? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. the boy. Oh, sorry, Ambrose. Uh, Lord. Hi, Freya. A roo roo. A roo roo. Ambrose, I'm, I gotta, you gotta scoop, buddy. You can't go in the oven. Ah, well, don't you look golden and delicious now? Brilliant. All right, everybody. That was the stream for today. Stuffed buns, delicious. You could put savory or sweet inside of them, and it works regardless. You could steam them or bake them. Turns out delicious no matter what. I love you guys. I will mull over what I would like to do for next week's stream. I haven't really decided yet. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. I'm achy. I want to sit down and eat a bun and read comic books. So that's what I'm going to do. I love you guys. Stay warm. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay reasonably full. Not too full. Just enough full. That comfortable warm full. Not overstuffed. Just enough stuffed. I will see you next week. Until next time. And there's the button. <laughs>